Hey dolls and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you swatches of my favorite MAC red lipsticks. I've also done a lot of videos about MAC lipsticks. I've made a video about my favorite MAC lipstick shades. I've made a video about my favorite MAC lip liners and what lipstick shades goes along with it. Oh, I've also made a video about my favorite MAC nude lipsticks and my favorite MAC neutral lipsticks. So if you're interested, I'll be putting all the links down below. But today, as I've mentioned, I'll be swatching my favorite red lipsticks that I think will be suited for most skin tones. So I can't show you the lipstick on a bullet form because I've already put it on my kit, but I'll be putting a picture over here or before I show the lipstick, I'm going to show what it looks like in bullet form. So let's get started. So the first lipstick shade that I'm going to show you is what I have on, which is the MAC Dare You. I think on my skin tone, it looks more like a terracotta red. I'm going to put more so that you can see. So the next shade that I'm going to show you is one of MAC's most popular red lipstick because you might have seen this on Rihanna and when Rihanna had this on she looks bomb she looks like the lady boss so this is in the shade Ruby Woo So this one has a matte finish, but it doesn't look drying on. It looks more like a powder. I know MAC has a powder kiss lipstick, and for me, this looks like a powder lipstick. It's matte, but it's not drying on your lips, and it looks very modern. And I just love that this color is not too red or too blue. So it's just in the middle and that's why it suits a lot of skin tones. So the next shade that I'm going to show you is another popular MAC red lipstick and it's called Russian Red. And you will notice that I'm actually using a very small brush. This is actually a MAC 211, which is an eyeliner brush. And I'm using this because with red lipstick, you can easily see any mistakes because it's a very bold color. So this acts like a lip liner because it's very thin. So if you're struggling with evening out your lipstick, your red lipstick on your lips, try using a thin Brush. I also like putting foundation on the sides of my lips just so the red lipstick would look cleaner when you put it on. So the next shade that I'm going to swatch is called MAC Red and this shade has more of a blue tone. So if MAC Red has more of the blue tone, this other shade has more of that warm tone, more of that orangey tone, and this shade is called Lady Danger. I'm also going to show you a tip when applying the red lipstick. I usually start in the middle and focus the color there. So I focus it in the middle, and then I press my lips together to distribute the color. And then when the color is well distributed, that's when I start to line the edges. And if I need more color, I grab the lipstick and I add it in the middle as well. And then again, just distribute it. And the reason I do this is because you don't want to put a lot of product, especially if it's red, on your lips because you don't want any smudging. The more product you have on your lips, the more it is prone to smudging and you want to focus the product in the center and whatever is left, that's what you use on the edges to also prevent it from bleeding. So this is in the shade Lady Danger. I think that this color is 
perfect for spring and summer and then the MAC red which is more of a blue tone is perfect for fall and winter. And the last shade that I'm going to show you I think is a good everyday red shade and this is in the shade On Hold. So that's it dolls, that's my favorite MAC red lipsticks. I hope that you guys enjoy watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. I hope that you find this video helpful and if you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel and please also don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll always be updated once a new video is out. Thank you so, so much dolls again for watching. I'll see you on my next one.